Morning, welcome to University Hospital Southampton. My name's Ellie and I'm currently a fourth year here at Southampton and I'm going to show you all that Southampton Medical School has to offer you. I'm currently in my fourth year of study here and I'm intercalating so I'm taking an extra year out to do um, a Masters. So here we are in the South Academic Block. This is the main entrance into the South Academic Block which is at the back of the hospital and is the main place where you'll find the students convening. Um, it goes over um, several floors from A to F, so it's quite a large building. And within here at Southampton, we offer lots of different courses. There are four different courses. There's the BM5 course, the BM4 course for graduates, the BM6 course, the extended programme, and the BMEU course. So welcome to the Health Services Library, the home away from home for many a medical student. It's really fantastic that here at um, Southampton Medical School we have a library here based at the hospital which is really useful for when you want to get books out, um, look for journal articles for things like assignments or your research project. Um, of course there's also on main campus the Hartley Library and you can take books out and exchange them and bring them in and take them back at either, either of the sites. And it's also really great that during exam periods you've got somewhere else that you can go and study because um, sometimes it can get a little bit busy um, on campus so it's really nice to have somewhere here. And also there's some group study rooms which are excellent, something I've definitely used in my time when it's coming up to exams. And the staff are really helpful here. If you've got any problems, any questions, um, they're always happy to help and they're very knowledgeable, especially about getting different journal articles and things that you might need. And of course, obviously, there's also the um, online resources. So you can go online and there's lots of books that are available, videos and things that can help you um, when you're learning about anatomy, for example. So here we've got the MedSoc office. Now MedSoc stands for the Medical Society and it's really the sort of medical union of the university. So it's something that medical students can sign up to and there's a committee that are elected every year and they put on some fantastic events for you and also they support your academic needs and your welfare needs. And there's loads of different societies and sports teams that you can also join up to. So MedSoc's really the community, I would say, of, of medical students and it's something for everyone to get involved in. The office is open at lunchtime, so you can always come in, have a chat to somebody. So here we've got the common room, which is a great place you can come to chill out and just hang out with your friends. It's great because there's also all the workstations here, um, so all the computers and the printer as well. So if you just want to print something off, or if you want to do a bit of light work, or just check your emails or something, then it's a place you can come. So here we are on level B, and here's the class, the Centre for Learning Anatomical Sciences. Within the class there are two labs, there's the histology lab where you'll spend time looking down the microscope and also we've got the wet lab. Unfortunately because there are prosections in there and specimens we're unable to film inside but it's an invaluable resource for learning anatomy in your first few years at Southampton. So this is the student office. Um, it's great because you can come in here if you've got any inquiries or any problems and the staff are really helpful and any problems this is a place to come. Southampton's one of the leading medical schools in the country and one thing that we're really proud of here at Southampton is the pioneering research that goes on and really excitingly in your third year you get to experience a research project where you get to get involved in all the aspects of research and some of the areas that Southampton are particularly excelling in at the moment are the cancer sciences, immunology, respiratory, epidemiology and bones and joints and you'll be fortunate enough to work with pioneering researchers that are leaders in their field. Here is one of their lecture theatres, a very familiar place to any Southampton medical student. Here you'll spend a large part of your first few years here at Southampton being delivered lots of lectures as part of the curriculum. But on top of that, we have lots of expert guest speakers who come in. They could be either clinicians or academics, and they come in and talk about their experiences and also the work that they do. So here we are in the clinical skills area on level B and this is one of the most exciting parts of being a medical student where you get to learn all the practical skills that you need for your time as a doctor. So such things that we learn in this area would be things like how to take blood, ECGs, how to look in your eyes with a fundoscope and all the different key skills that are essential for your future career. So here we are on level C, and this is the main corridor that links the South Academic Block where we just have been to the main entrance or the main part of the hospital. So these are the exciting steps you take when you move from your preclinical years into your clinical years where you start working on the wards. 
So over the main part of the hospital we've got the main entrance where you can catch a bus and there are buses that go directly to Highfield and also to halls and if you're a, a Hort resident you also get a free bus pass so that makes life really convenient. And not only that, if you're hungry, there's plenty of places to eat, there's a few shops and there's some coffee shops. So this is Life Lab, which is a brand new facility here at University Hospital Southampton. And this is a great opportunity to enhance your learning by getting involved in teaching young people about health and disease and also to inspire them. So these are great things that can supplement your learning that you can do as extracurricular activities that will really help you with your future career. Another way to support your studies is peer-to-peer -peer teaching. This is something the faculty gets involved with and it allows students to be able to practice their teaching and their communication skills. As you can see, we're back to where we started. So University of Southampton has loads of exciting things to offer. We've got all the academic side of things, all the part of the curriculum, like all the lectures, seminars, and peer-to-peer -peer teaching, which is something that Southampton does really well. And then on top of that, you've got all the social stuff, you've got all the societies and sports teams, for more information you can check out the website and that concludes the tour, thank you very much.